Anthony here for Sigma TV. Next to me is a mammoth in the industry, especially of NFTs. We are talking to Emrita. Emrita, thank you very much for joining me. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's and an um, it's amazing to be in Cape Town. It's such a wonderful place. Thank you very much. Tell me a bit about your experience at Sigma so far. Yeah, I mean, it's been fantastic. I arrived and we went straight into the awards night where I was very fortunate that I was auctioning off one of my art pieces. Um, it's called Africa Blockchain and we can talk about that in a minute. Um, but the most exciting thing is, is that we were raising money for charity. The reserve price was 2,300 euros and we ended up selling for just under 5,000 euros. I, I actually got excited from the moment I heard Africa blockchain. Please elaborate a little bit on that for me. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I created this piece called Africa blockchain um, and it's actually an augmented reality piece. It's, um, and it's part of my soundbite style. Um, so effectively with my soundbites, what I do is I, I kind of make words into pictures. So you know they say a picture is worth a thousand words. I say a word is worth a thousand pictures. And effectively what I like to do with this is kind of use sound and images to tell a new story. And I'm somebody who was born and brought up in Kenya. Um, I've lived all over Africa. I now live in Dubai. Um, but I want, you know, I believe that artists are able to change the narrative and we're, we're very important storytellers. And so what I wanted my artwork to do is to use, you know, the word, which is Africa blockchain, um, to inspire new images about Africa and about what, you know, the new revolution of the Web3 world from blockchain to NFTs, metaverse, AI, can actually do for the continent because I think that this is such an amazing opportunity and it's our time to not just rewrite a new story but actually to paint a new picture. Well tell me about your right now, what, are you, what, what projects are you also working on? So I mean at, at the moment I'm just focusing very much on you know Africa blockchain being here at the Sigma and really helping explain that um, story and bringing that story to life um, and also I believe that you know, trying to show people that um, we can use tech as a tool brush. So using tech as a tool brush within my artwork, using augmented reality, um, NFTs to bring it to life, but also how can we bring NFTs to life in a more practical way? So here at the conference, um, a lot of the time when you attend something, um, you like to keep a little bit of a memory to show that you attended it, right? So, you know, some people might keep their lanyard, um, you know, there'll be little stickers or giveaways or tote bags uh, that typically happen at a conference. Um, and that's a really nice way to kind of show I was there. But what I'm doing is I'm giving away a free NFT to anyone who comes up to me um, as a proof of attendance and a proof of meeting me at this conference. You get an NFT and when you get that NFT you become part of my community of which then I host like fun things um, every month from giving away free merch um, and actually connect connecting you to an ecosystem of people who are, who are enthusiastic about art and technology. And all that from just coming into me, coming, meeting me, scanning a QR code, and then being able to claim an NFT, whether you have a wallet or not, you can do it through email. And so I do think that this is a great way for, um, you know, for, to change how we interact at conferences. I mean, even you as a presenter, um, you could have a proof of meeting as well. Um, or instead of just having a business card, um, you get an NFT for meeting you. Um, and I think this would work from everything from, you know, everyday people to, to, to celebrities, um, to big brands and to capturing those kind of moments. Thank you very much, Amrita. You, you, you're, giving me, you're giving me the vibes of a person that walks into the room and shines everything. So I, I'd really like to know where that derives from. What inspired you to do all this? Oh, I don't know, you know, I don't know what it, I just, I really, I let my creative, my curiosity, I would say, drive my cu creativity. So I, I let my um, create curiosity drive my creativity. And um, the way I do that is, you know, I just remain like in wonderment of 
I think, of every present moment, is just thinking, what is going to happen now and what else can I create? Um, I get so much joy from you know, creating something new and then I really get very excited to share it with people because I know the feeling that I got when I discovered like, wow, this not only can change my life, but it can change other people's lives. And so what I like to do is I like to inspire change through art and technology. So using art and technology, art to kind of showcase the new technologies and change from the Web 2 to the Web 3 world. But I'm a very, very big believer in inspiring change from within as well. And so, you know, I believe that we have to t find time to go inwards, really understand who we are authentically, and then come out and either tell that story or rewrite a new story. And I believe that we're totally empowered to be able to completely change the state that we're in now and to use art and technology to make that happen and use it in a more magical way and to bring a bit of joy and magic back to art. It's been an absolute honor just, just sharing my time with you over here. And Rita, thank you very, very much for stopping by. I know you're a very busy woman with a very busy schedule, so allow me to thank you very much for adding value to our show by being over here and explaining what it is you do. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of you in the future. Thank you very much to all, also to our audience watching us today. Um, this was Amrita. Um, Amrita, again, thank you very much. I wish you happy networking and yeah. see you on the floor. And thank you so much, of course, to Sigma and AIBC uh, for hosting me here in Cape Town, South Africa. We, we, we celebrate you. Thank you. My pleasure.